first off, I'd like to say that um, on the internet, we are able to um, say whatever we want. Um, even the smallest voices are heard, and this is this today is what I'm going to proclaim as something that I've seen for the past couple of days that really upsets me, and I'm one of those people that have uh, put my whole life into this. You know, I mean, not really my whole life, but you know, and I'm kind of saddened by what media has done to, I mean, not only in the news, but in uh, just shows that are, you know, supposed to be entertaining, okay, you know, um, recently I've seen the, uh, the uh, show X-Play, and I've been watching those guys ever since 2005, when X, when, uh, G4 was actually for gaming, they had, you know, old school game shows, they had players, they had all kinds of stuff in that, in that round of series, and, you know, its evolution at that point was totally inadequate, it was amazing, it was just, everything stood out, you know, Tony Hawk's Underground started coming out, you know, uh, I remember Candace Bailey, she was really different, she was really outspoken, she was happy, she was always willing to help other people, willing to, you know, do whatever it took, and, you know, she was really a happy-go-lucky person, and, you know, Adam, he was a great guy, and he still is to this day, and, um, I really, uh, thank you guys for what you've done to our, for our community, for the gaming industry, for pretty much everything like that, and, um, and then I'm gonna, t I'm gonna talk to you a little about, uh, Electronic Playground, um, I am grateful for, e uh, Electronic Playground for, two reasons like you guys really uh really i like your openings i like the way you uh you review this re review the movies because you review you don't review the movies like other people like you're fast you know fast paced and you know you get to the point you uh you explain what's wrong with the movie and what could be done better with the movie and that is something that is uh that, that's something I see in, uh, as a mistake among all reviewers out there on the internet and on TV and, um, people like that, in that, in that nature, and I remember you back then when, you know, the PS2 came out, you know, it was booming, it was a booming industry, but it is so sad to see what, what G4 has become now, and, um, I look at you guys and it's just like, what are you going to do when, you, uh, when you're out of the business? What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? You know, I mean, is this the end of G4? I mean, is this really the end of the uh, gaming on television? I know Esquire is a, it seems to be quite a good show. It's, it's a good, uh, not show, but network. You know, it seems they have their cards in place for the, uh, and, they, and they have a good standard for, you know, us guys and, you know, other people out there in that audience who like video games and stuff like that, and you know the entertainment. But there, uh, there's another uh, station out there too called Reels, and that revolves around that too. I mean, but so much has changed over the years in video games, and just and yeah, I just I'm really hoping that maybe if I was a CEO, if I was a CEO of G, uh, G4, you know. Um, you did, you did what you had to do, I understand, but there's a lot of people out there that don't have the means necessary to go on the internet and watch game reviews and stuff like that, I mean, you know, it's just, it's one of those things, and the one thing that I really like is the, uh, the YouTube channel called Machinima, Machinima, I would love to see Machinima and G4 collaborate and make a television station, you know, maybe not call it G4, or maybe call it G4, I mean, what, whatever's up to you, but I would like to see those two collaboratives combine and make a television show, because for one, Machinima has over one billion, uh, YouTube subscribers, they get all these, all these, uh, things out there, they got skits, they got this, uh, the Mortal Kombat Legacy series, it's incredible, and they're with Warner Brothers, they're doing all these wonderful things, and, you guys were looking for a place, you know, a place in heaven, well here it is, you know, here's your chance to team up with one of the greatest, the greatest, uh, 
in uh, video game history, you know, as far as entertainment goes, you know, as far as reviewing goes, as far as uh, what could be our future in this in this industry, and as I see it now, uh, independent gaming is the future, you know, I've recently looked at this Oculus Rift, and it's, it's incredible, you know, you, get to, you could put like a, uh, you could put like a, uh, a hard drive on it, and you know, just all these things that are coming out in our next generation, but we still got so much to do, you know, like, like, like when uh, G4 was at its peak back in uh, 2000s, and it was just, it was just something that really blew me away as a, as a kid, you know, as, well, actually as a teenager, you know, as, as a teenager, I, I love you guys, and I'm just really hoping you guys could come back a little bit stronger, a little bit wiser, you know, I mean, I collaborated with Machinima Prime. You know, you guys would be unstoppable. You'd be you'd be an unstoppable force. You'd be all over the world. I mean, that that's just my personal uh, thesis on this matter. And I just uh, I just I'm hoping that you guys uh, listen to my message and hoping you guys uh, come up with a solution to this uh, this whole switching over to Esquire um, network.